Well, right now, archaeologists are digging along the St. Joe River in Niles looking for evidence of what happened more than 300 years ago, and they're finding it. Yeah, they're excavating the site of Fort St. Joseph, a trading post between the French and Native Americans that was established in the 1690s. Wow. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean joins us now from the live desk. Good morning, Kristen. So the public will soon get the chance to see what they found. Oh, yeah, it's in an open house a couple weekends from now. The team of researchers has been at this site all this summer. Western Michigan University has conducted its annual archaeological field school there for 11 of the past 13 years. And this year, like in past years, they're learning what went on there hundreds of years ago. Got a piece of iron. Under hundreds of years of soil and roots, evidence is waiting to be revealed. Fort St. Joseph was a place that the French established in the 1690s, uh, initially as a mission and then as a trading post and a place where there are about 10 to 12 soldiers or so. Dr. Michael Nassani, a professor at Western Michigan University, is leading a team of researchers looking for clues about what went on here along the banks of the St. Joseph River. It wasn't so much a defensive place as it was more of a commercial center. The French were trading uh, imported goods like uh, knives and kettles and cloth. To native peoples for furs and that's the way they created an alliance and so they were quite friendly with the native peoples that were in the area the team carefully scrapes away layers of dirt sifts through sand and stone looking for anything that might paint a picture of how people lived well it would be cool to go back in time and that's what archaeology is all about it's about going back in time so you know until we actually invent a time machine uh, it's the physical traces of uh, the broken gun flints and the pieces of pottery and the rusty nails that people left here in association with the houses that they lived in that really give us a sense as to how they lived, what they did, and uh, what their daily lives were like. And the team has made some interesting discoveries. Gun parts, a brass hawk bell, and the seal of the crown stamped on a lead seal. One of the things that's really exciting for us is that we're finding objects that were imported from Europe immediately adjacent to objects that were made and used by native peoples. So that tells us something about the close relationships that took place between the French and the natives. But Nassani believes it's not what you find, it's what you find out that's most important. In a place like Niles here along the, the banks of the St. Joseph River, there's intact archaeological evidence that can help us to rewrite American history. So interesting. And if you want to get a first-hand look at what the researchers are doing and what they've found in open houses planned for their final weekend at the site, that's June 27th and 28th. And they post regularly on their blog with pictures and information about what they find. I'll put a link to that on my Facebook page. Go to Kristen Bean, WSBT. At the live desk, Kristen Bean, WSBT, 22 News. That's interesting stuff. Yeah, I love seeing. I found an old nickel once, and that is that's about <laughs> as archaeological as I've ever gotten. Well, that you're getting really there. Cool. You're closer. Right? <laughs> I'm getting closer. <laughs> All right, the time is now 6:40. If you set out to raise some money for a zoo, you might think $15,000. That's a pretty nice time.